Hello and welcome back to another Fountain Pen Friday. I'm in Porcider and today we're looking at this ink pod. Um, this was a gift. I received this as a gift from one of my students. Um, she picked it up while she was in Korea. And uh, honestly, can't even get this here. Uh, I've looked on our online shopping sites. I've looked on Amazon, even uh, AliExpress. I can't find this pen anywhere. So it'll be interesting to share my experiences with you. Let's get started. All right, here it is up close. As you can see, it has a, what is that? A slip and seal lid. And got a, a purple cartridge that came, it came with and it matches the purple theme it's got on the clip and on the uh, back here. So it's, it's, it's a matchy matchy pen. Uh, towards the end, we'll see if I can fit in a uh, cartridge converter and see if I can swap it out. This purple's a little bit too bright for me, but I'm happy to see if we can fit something else in there. All right, so here's our pen cap. And as you can see, it's very scratched up. It's got a much more interesting purple at this range than in person. It's very transparent purple. This one though, it's a nice dark, oh man, I cleaned this and I can still find in hairs. Yeah, the scratches I found are all over the entire pen. It's just scratched up. Um, apparently the plastic they made out of is not scratch resistant at all. All right, here we go towards the end. All right, and it's kind of fallen out of focus as we've proceeded. All right, here's our nib. Uh, I don't know the name of, there's gotta be a name for flat top nibs over like more like the, the Lamy style over the curved top. But this is what we've got for a nib. Let's see if we can roll it so you can see these. There we go. All right, so here's our all right, so here's our nib. And as you can see, as I mentioned, it's got a very uh, flat tip. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at the cap. I wanna show you guys the uh, slip and seal cap next. And there it is. You can see the spring and the cap that it slides into. A little hard to clean in there. I've one experience I've had with this is uh, you get ink in there and it is tricky to get out. I'm rolling up tissue and shoving it in there trying to get it out. All right, let's look at the pen going in. All right, here's the pen going in and you'll be able to watch it flex just ever so slightly. It doesn't have a whole lot of movement. Oh, it's a little harder to push. There you go, just a tiny little bit of movement. But I've had a lot of, uh, it's been doing really well at stopping it from drying out. I've had a no problems with that whatsoever. I quite like it. The slip and seal cap is good. All right, here we go. Let's do a little bit of writing. So I love writing with this. Uh, I don't know what it is. It feels better than my Twisby or my Jinho. It just feels really nice. It's a great nib. It's smooth, almost too smooth at times. It feels almost like there's no feedback at all at times, especially when I've moved from the other uh, pens to this one. Right now I'm feeling feedback, but that is because I haven't been using the other pens. This has actually somehow become one of my favorite pens uh, it was really unexpected. I thought it was going to be just a, a throwaway thing, but it, uh, it's quite an enjoyable pen to write with. All right. Do, uh, I'm so bad at this. I look at other streamers doing this and they get such perfect boxes. Their lines are so nice and mine look like crap. <laughs> Oh, it is what it is. 
All right. Um, I, I'm doing it backwards. I always do it backwards the first time. There we go. My shame. I can't remember how to do this. Slightly. Harder. And we'll slide it up and we will do our little geography. Still don't know why I write geography. I, I like it because it's swoopy. It goes up, it goes down, it goes all over the place. It's fun to write. All right, so there we are with this pen. Um, I am impressed with it. All right, let's go to another scene because I need to talk about a few other things. All right, so in my experience, this is the only image I've been able to find online. I've been trying. I have tried. And it looks pretty much exactly like what I was given. Uh, it was a two-pack that I got, though, in purple. But this is pretty much exactly what I was given. Uh, the student kept one, gave me the other. And this is, this is what we've had. This is what I was given, and I can't buy it here. I can't buy it on our versions of Amazon, can't find it on AliExpress, can't find it on Amazon. It is just this mystery pen, apparently, and I just can't find it anywhere. All right, here we go, my big, big fear. I've never done this before, so we're gonna try it here live. Oh, boy, okay. Plop that in there for later dealing with. Does this just go in? Um, no, it doesn't. Maybe if I can pair the openings here a little bit, we can learn a little bit more. Oh, it's just wider. Okay, so you can't just swap in the uh, converter from uh, the gin. Whatever size that one is, it does not go in. I'm going to have to do a little bit more learning. If anyone would like to try and tell me, save me some effort what size that is. I don't, I don't really understand the sizings on these cartridge and uh, cartridge converters yet. But honestly, would it have even fit? Maybe, maybe. It would have been a tight fit. All right. So, no. The answer was no on my attempt with that. Okay. Nice to know. All right, where does that leave us? Uh, I don't like the sizing. I wish it had just been, you know, your standard international. I think that's the correct term. Don't quote me on that. Um, it's a good pen, though. It's a really good pen. For I think it was slightly under $3, maybe a little over, somewhere between three, like $2.50 and $3.50, somewhere in there for a pen, I think. I, I did managed to ask her and I just can't remember what the price was. It was that it was a two pack. So switches things up a little bit. If you get the opportunity, I recommend this. It's an amazing little fountain pen for uh you know two to four dollar range. It just writes amazing. Uh the cartridges, it's a bit of a bummer. It did come with two. So it was four for the uh two pack of pens. So I have an extra purple. I just don't love this purple. I was going to switch it out for my scribble purple from Diamine. That was my plan. Go a little bit darker. Not an option at this point. Um, all right. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed yourself and I've earned your subscription. Please don't forget to hit that like and I'll see you next time. Bye.